starting. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training, torture, what's the difference, I say? I look to your left, difference. now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate work-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is that? All right, shut you it saw off. that, right? I got that, torture that was a to Gatlian. Do. Douglas has a Gatlian. We, we, we gotta rescue her. Jesus, these fucking Merkeloids. Oh, fuck, here we go. Oh, no, I, here we shit, go. I hope it's not too difficult. I guess we're all done. Oh, okay. You beat all the weak guys. Easy. Really easy. Now go do the obstacle course. All right, then. You do remember how to jump, right? Let's see those moves, buddy. I'm what you got? I'm slipping! I'm slipping! I'm slipping! I'm slipping. Ah! No, did you just get hurt? Don't embarrass me now. I'm gonna get cocky, but this ain't shit. Look, if I had some legs, I could do this better than you. Oh God. Uh, I have a pacemaker. One zap would kill me. Hey, you go on ahead. You know, thinking, maybe I should just go be a CPA instead. That, 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 that would be a safer life. <laughs> you think if I ask nicely, they'll turn off the electricity? God damn, oh god damn! Alright, I see what's popping here. It's easy to get into the G3. Let's wrap this up. Hey, I am not with this bounty hunter. I do not know them. I do not. Okay, finally. Oh, let's just bust out of here and have some real fun. So you made it let's get back to the real exercise. fun. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out, to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. 
Then this door will open and you can continue. I guess I did what I needed to do, though. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here! My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family, and I'm trying to sneak in and save them. But I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! You gotta connect these pipes for me, so I can get through and save my family. Hey, well guess what, little guy? I love puzzles. I can't get enough of them. We're gonna handle this. Oh, how wondrous. I'm forever in your debt. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Poor family, my wife Plimmy, my kids Swoopy and Froopy. I'm gonna get to see them soon. You're really gonna do it. I bet you're gonna solve this puzzle in no time. The day I married my wife, Plimmy, was the happiest day of my life. I used to dream about kissing. I'll wait for to kiss until we'd been married for 50 years. Only 40 more to go. Oh, if I can save her. Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Oh, come on. You're too, you're too kind. It, it was easy. Oh, did you say you're heading hey, to find Douglas too? We're, we're not gonna His shoot office this is that guy. big He's building a cute up little on top guy. of Drake Town. But there's him. a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh. Well, all right then. I, I, I hope the guy gets his family back. Congratulations to all of you worms who made it this far in your training. It is now time for the final test. A bloody free-for-all. Last one standing gets to join the G3. No rules, just killing. Good luck, shit heels. God damn it, another fucking thing with this. Holy shit. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know, fight some more guys. Did I miss anything?
think you know? G3 Blood's some of my favourite, you know? There's more of them! Gonna let me take a break, huh? You bounty hunter. Just itching to launch some discount. You were side eyeing me. Hey, the good work, pal. That's the last of them. I guess we're officially in the G3. Congratulations, graduates, on joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya.
on a power slide. Look at you. You are really gonna wanna come over here and check out my crazy deals. I don't enjoy disappointing people. It's just my job. Fair price, right? Not a deal, but fair, you'd say? Maybe. Thanks for coming by. Nice to see you. Glad to see you. I'm so happy we keep running into each other. Oh, look who it's our old buddy. It's our old friend, Dr. Jupy. What are you talking about? How, wh how's it going? Uh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. And a little bit about my wife, but mostly my kids. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife. Clemmy calling for me. Swoopy and Froopy would really like you to. Oh, they're good kids. I can't wait to introduce them to you and tell them about everything you did for me. They need good, strong role models. Knife, are you ready? Oh, Plimmy and the kids are probably so scared without me. I don't want to rush you, but I'm getting nervous. Knife, he can help! Oh, I'd love to help, but these tentacles are too slippery! Office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there. Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. That's talking on my nerve endings. This is an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's for and against violent zone. That means there's probably just going to be a lot of violence. An intruder has infiltrated the chief. <laughs> Lots of violence here until we find and kill them. And remember, always. Huh, I guess they're talking about us. I'm still here, and I support any more mothers out there. I'll believe whatever cause they ask me to believe in. Hot mothers, not hot mothers. I love mothers. <laughs> You know what, that looks like Douglas' office, but we can't get in that way. Maybe we can go around back. Hey! Whoa. 
straight down.
agree. You know, I, I, I guess. I don't. I don't know. It's. I, I, I'm. I, I'm. I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah. Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. You, you're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? to see my little flimmy proppy and go I'm really, really trying not to think about my wife's body being back. You're a good team! Pretty stupid right about now. He was fucking with us. We got played. Look at us. We got played. We fell for it. Damn it. <laughs> fucking echoing ass voice. Fuck him. <laughs> I was never Dr. Jupy. There is no Dr. Jupy. Are you shocked, you idiot? Complete fucking morons. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> and to think you never once suspected your helpless little friend, Dr. Jupy, was actually hiding in the true right now. Fuck off, man! You got lucky! 
delicious. Ah. If you stay, Dr. Droopy, I wouldn't be mad. We still have to kill you, obviously. Honestly, catch me if you can. Oh, thank God I missed the action. Oh. Huh. There never was any flim in your step or your whatever those made up stupid rotten little kids were called.
that's definitely the stuff. Oh, now that felt good. He had some very nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh, ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Freezy. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian. Smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm Douglas, pretty good. It's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention, things are going to start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas! Get excited! And get your fucking shit together! Okay, yeah, fuck that! You wanna fuck these guys up? See what else this time bubble can do? Great! Perfect! Now hurry and cross before it wears off! Incredible, right? What a thrill! You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. And try loading the bubble up with my crystals. Then you'll see why I'm the best Gatlian. <sighs> You're gonna make it. Just listen to everything I say. So what's next? You turn in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up.
from. Kid, another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your belt. Who's that with you? Did you get a new Gatlin? Yeah, the name's Sweezy. Get used to it, you old fuck. Come on, turn in that bounty already. I gotta show you this. This is your bedroom? Okay. All right, good. Get over here. Check this out. Hello, Blim City Citizen. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. now catch this next bit. That's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Just head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out. Come on. You know how hard it is to get a meeting with the Magistrate? Don't keep him waiting. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with.
What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. We're back! So... <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordo's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Yo, bounty hunter, wanna do some perfectly legal business? Hey, how's the bounty hunting? Have you been to the slums yet? Yeah, they're really not so bad. Once you get used to the smell and the taste. <sighs> well, that was a waste of time. Jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final! Fuck! God damn it! Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. Cha-ching! That's the sound of business, partner. Dad, can I clock out early? No, why? What are you, the cops? I don't owe you an explanation. Yes, you do. I'm your father and your boss. I'd like it better if you were the cops. Wow, you bought something. I'm so impressed. Blah. Hey, 
Look at me. I'm the guy who sells stuff. I'm an illegal concessions guy. I'd like to sell you illegal stuff over here. What's that guy yelling about? Illegal? Yes, what's up? My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? Wait, hold, hold, hold the phone. What the fuck? You sell alien cum? I know it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum, and we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. Why are you here selling alien cum? Is there seriously an actual market for that? I consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you buying or nay? Did we look like people that would want to buy alien cum? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographics. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So what? what's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? Let's have some cum. I'll try anything. <laughs> Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off for free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from... Okay, you saunter away. I wasn't saying nothing. Okay, yeah, just walk away. Oh, thank God I missed the action. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. Shooter. I'm Jerry, also gun shooter. And Bob, gun shooter. Smith. Jerry, Bob, and Je Jeffrey, gun shooter. One of them with the hyphen at Smith at the end. And we're all here to just totally shoot our gun. Let me tell you, Jeffrey, I'm excited because I got a new gun I've been dying to try out. Can you show me? Um, no. It's actually not allowed to be on TV. The gun's not allowed to be on TV? Are we still recording? I just was telling you personally, 
I was excited. I didn't want to do this one for the show. This is rough. Turn off the cameras. I, I just... Let, let me turn off the cameras. Yeah, it's just I feel like we used to do this off camera. Though. Crossing my antenna for something good here. So, uh, what kind of stuff did you do in here? Like, anything gross? Y you have to tell me. Like, seriously, come on. We're best friends now. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think, I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. <laughs> 